Hi, it's Jordan at Rybrook Couple Land Rover in Halifax. Here we have a 2001 Land Rover Discovery TT5 XS. It's on 158,756 miles. As you would imagine, we've got plenty of marks on this, little bits of rust, uh, plenty of marks of the paintwork, some corrosion to the alloys. Uh, all in all, looks like a genuine solid car, uh, but as you would expect with the age and the mileage, it is showing its age. So just coming a bit closer, um, I'm probably not going to point everything out on this video. Uh, it's all as you'd expect with the mileage, so we've got plenty of marks on the paintwork there. We've got some marks across the wheel arches there. Down at the wheels, we've got some pitted areas on the alloys. We've got a decent bit of tread on the front tyres. So just coming down the side, we've got the side steps on this. Uh, like I say, plenty of marks of the paintwork there, that probably been the worst on the door. We've got a few chips just down the door edge there, as you can see. Onto this rear door, plenty of marks on that rear door again, with some rust just showing there. We've got a few marks just running across the arches, they have dulled down a bit then, and we've got the corrosion on the rear alloy as well, with a decent bit of tread on that rear tyre. Onto the quarter panel, like I say, we've got a little bit of rust there, plenty of marks again on the quarter panel. Just coming around the rear end, so we've got the disc colour into the hinges there. We've got the full size spare as you can see with some corrosion to that with a decent bit of tread on that tyre. We've got some rust just down at the bottom of the tailgate there with also some marks on the quarter panel, marks on the light. Plenty of marks on the rear bumper. We've got the tow bar on this but it does look like it's not tight. Just looking down the near side, so we've got some dents on them front, front and rear doors there. We've got about three or four dents down there. Plenty of brush marks down the side of this car. Some marks down to the lower portion there. Some marks on the arches there. Plenty of chips and marks all over this car. Down to the alloy, we've got some corrosion there as, as well. And we've got a decent bit of tread on that rear tyre. The side steps on this side. Plenty of marks to that front door on the rear edge there. And plenty across the front of it. Onto the front wing, so we've got plenty of marks on this front wing again. Most of them would polish out, but it's never going to be mint this car unless you give it a full repaint. Down at the front alloy, we've got some pitted areas with the brake dust there and some pitted areas on the spokes with a decent bit of tread on that front tyre. Plenty of pitted areas over the arches there, as you can see. And just coming around to the front end, as you'd expect with this mileage, we've got plenty of stone chips on the front end. Uh, but all in all, everything's there, the lights are there. Everything fits okay. Looks like a good strong vehicle does this. Just coming up at the bonnet. So we've got a few stone chips to the bonnet, as you would expect, and a few marks on the paintwork also. Now just coming up to the windscreen. No real major damage there, just some light chips. Again, we've got some corrosion just above the rubber on the roof there. And we've got plenty of marks on the roof. It's got the double sun roof on this. So just coming into the boot of this, as you can see, it's a heavily used vehicle. It does want a good valet. It's actually quite nasty inside here, uh, but it will clean up okay. A few marks here and there. Oh, I've got some paint missing there. Uh, it's quite hard to sort of point everything out on this, but hopefully you get it on the video. Just coming into the back. So see, it's actually not bad condition in the back here. That doesn't reflect the mileage. Uh, the carpets have come up okay and the back of the seats have come up all okay as well. Uh, obviously there is one or two marks, uh, just in keeping with the age and the mileage. And just coming into the front, so we've got some wear to the front seat there as you can see. And we've got some wear to the centre console there, plenty of wear here and there. Obviously in keeping with the age and the mileage, uh, as you would expect, it's not going to be a brand new car when you come for this. Plenty of wear and tear. Plenty of wear down the sides as well. Obviously the mats, uh, no mats in this, sorry, but the carpets, they're plenty of wear. The dash itself is actually not too bad, um, but it's never going to be a minter in this unless you fully do everything on it. Uh, it's got the sunroofs as well. I've been starting, we've got no warning lights on the dash and we could just confirm the mileage there as well. All in all, it is what it is this car, as you would expect with the mileage and the age. Uh, we've got a big, strong vehicle, uh, and a very usable car.